Louisiana's sugar industry has been operating for more than 220 years. Last year's crop set a production record in terms of total sugar produced, and its success has led to an increase in acreage. It's a very stable crop. Uh, uh, you know, the, you don't see the big swings in prices like you do with some of the grain crops or, or cotton crops. So we're seeing a little bit of the grain acreage flex into sugar cane. A key component in the success of sugar cane is the development of varieties that yield well, are disease resistant and cold tolerant. A new variety called L11-183 is being released this year and it has the characteristics of a successful variety. It gives us a good yield potential, it gives us disease resistance, it gives us stubbling ability. Controlling weeds is vital to any sugarcane farmer. Several different type of grasses have been causing issues for growers, but a new option for producers is a herbicide called Lumax EZ, which has shown promise in research trials. Ryegrass is becoming more and more of an issue for farmers and uh, for cane farmers. Um, so this product is going to go out around Thanksgiving and it's really going to offer us, us some great pre-emerge ryegrass control. It takes approximately 12 years to develop a new sugarcane variety, but this research has paid off with higher yields that continue to make sugarcane viable in Louisiana. It's quite a long-term investment, but it's an investment that's paid big dividends for Louisiana. We've doubled our yields in the last 50 years. Gravois says this year's crop is shorter than last year's, but the population of stalks is high, so the potential for a good crop is there. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.